I'll call the cops. I'll call the cops and tell you to look at it since they do. Since they do. Nobody hangs up on it since they do. I'll call the cops when you for calling me personally out like this. Just look at me. Just stop looking at me. No. I don't know what you're talking about. I have ninja eyes. Ninja I'm sensei. Sensei me. Fucking Doug. Give me those fucking snake eyes. Snake eyes. What? Those fucking snake eyes. Snake eyes. Give me those snake eyes. Snake eyes. What? Are you crazy? Nobody hangs up on Sensei Doug. This is Sensei Doug. Judging me and like just looking at me, your lazy eyes freaking me out. I'm even looking at me since they do. Hey everyone, welcome to the Snowplow Show. This is RBCP for the November 2nd, 2016 show. I was going to do a show yesterday, but thanks to Meow's Wow, you all know Meow's Wow, right? I didn't get a show done yesterday. I had to do it today instead. It's all completely her fault. I don't know how, but she's the sponsor today, so she gets blamed for everything. I really did try to do a show yesterday, but I had to do this stupid real-life work thing that I do sometimes. All thanks to Meow's Wow. And speaking of Meow's Wow and other sponsors of the Snowplow Show, I've been horrible about keeping on top of the whole sponsor thing on Patreon and keeping the list updated. I just put about four months worth of sponsors onto my sponsor list. And there's a bunch of new people in there like Rob Zombie Stark and Worsty and My First Broom and a guy named James S4. What else don't I recognize here? Oh yeah, this one, Luda X Factor probably saying that wrong. And there's a bunch of other people too that are not at the sponsoring level for Patreon. I never read those names. But yeah, lots of new sponsors and stuff for the show that I haven't noticed before. Thank you everyone for supporting the show so much. If you want to support the show, you can do that at patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. That really cool song you heard on the beginning of the show today, that was uh, by a guy named 13 Code 13 and it's called Sensei Doug. Thank you, 13 Code 13. Weirdest name ever, even weirder than Meow's Wow. I should say a few things about pumpkins. Holy crap, you guys, you have sent me a lot of amazing PLA pumpkins. I wasn't really taking the PLA pumpkin carving thing this year too seriously. I'm just like, yeah, whatever, send me a PLA themed pumpkin if you want to. Maybe I'll send you a sticker or whatever. But we've got some really amazing ones here. Uh, There's one that was sent in by Nick, it's the PLA logo. And then this one by CJ and Tina. It's like a PLA written in gangster letters or something with a cactus and a logo. Pretty sure they're a part of the Bloods or the Crips or something. Got one here from Brandon that says, Go Away PLA. And another one here from Brandon. I guess it's like a cell phone and a PLA logo. Or maybe that's just the back of the pumpkin. And I Regret Jumping, he sent me a pumpkin that he accidentally carved upside down. It says PLA and has the logo on it. Let's see what else. Uh, Chris and Sarah, they sent me a bizarre pumpkin shrine of some sort. They've got a go cup in the middle of two pumpkins. They're both on the phones. One's on a headset and one of the pumpkins has a hand. That's pretty fucked up. A pumpkin with a hand. The hand is holding his uh, flip phone, of course. That's pretty great. Uh, There's one from Ginger that says Roy the Retarded Boy. I don't know how you guys were able to carve in those tiny letters like that. I can never do that on pumpkins. And Roger sent me a crazy one. It's just got shit all over it. It's got the PLA logo and it says XYZ on it. And Roy, New Mexico, I don't even know how to explain this one. You guys just have to go look at it. There's one here from Trinity. It's a cactus with a a sun shining up there in the corner. And finally, we have FOD87's really lazy entry. He just wrote with a Sharpie on it, it looks like. I'm not going to give him shit for this. He doesn't get a sticker or anything. And then there's some other pumpkins in my email box. I haven't posted those yet, and I'm too lazy to go search for them right now. But thank you, everyone who sent in a pumpkin for the PLA pumpkin carving quote-unquote contest. I know I said it was a contest, but it wasn't really a contest. I was just going to send everyone who sent me a pumpkin some stickers or whatever. 
If you'd like to see all these pumpkins instead of just listening to me talk about them, you can do that by going to the Phone Losers Facebook, facebook.com slash phone losers. And I'll put a link directly to the photo album in the show notes today. These are pretty amazing, though, everyone. Thanks for uh, wasting your pumpkins on the PLA. Maybe next year I should take this more seriously and make it an actual contest and give out good prizes. Anyway, let's get started with the show. You guys don't want to hear me talk about pumpkins. Audio Entertainment presents Pop Music's new sensation, Paula Abdul. Straight up, now tell me if it's gonna be. Call me, I've got news you can use. Straight up, she's going to tell you everything. Call 1-900-909-1800 now. Call me twice, then I'll send you an autograph picture. You and Paula together. Just $2 the first minute, $0.45 each extra minute. Kids ask your parents permission. Paula's on a rocket to stardom. Call me now and find out why. Pick up the phone. Call 1-900-909-1800. Call me now. I've got a request here from Freak Show Stephen that might be interesting. Stephen says, hey, Arby, there's a new Dollar General opening in my small town. The two gas stations slash pizza places in this town as well. What? I don't know. This is confusing. Anyway, they are afraid they might have to close once Dollar General opens because it'll be a lot cheaper to go there. Figured you could have some fun with them. And he doesn't tell me why they're afraid of this or how he knows that they're afraid. Maybe they were interviewed or something. I'm not sure, but he wants me to call and stir some shit up. I think I can do that. Sandy's markup. Hi, is the manager available? No, she is not. Oh, do you know when she'll be back? Tomorrow morning. Oh, is this an assistant manager or an employee? Or? Uh, just an employee. Oh, okay. Well, I'm call- I'm, I'm going to be the manager of the new Dollar General when, when it opens. Okay. And I just wanted to laugh at you because, you know, your store is probably going to go out of business and you're, you'll be out of a job. Huh. Yep. As soon as we open. So just be waiting for it. Oh, yeah. She's gone. All right. I don't think an employee really gives a shit, but hopefully she'll pass that along to the manager. And let's try the next one on the list. I wish there were some more of them. There's only two. What's my guest launch? This is Vicky speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Vicky. Is the manager there? She is. Hold on just a moment. Okay. Hello, this is Marnie. I'm sorry, did you say Marty? Marnie. Oh, Marnie. Hey, Marnie. Uh, This is Roy. Um, I'm going to be the manager of the Dollar General that's opening up here in town. Hi. Hi. I just wanted to know if you could maybe tell me how much money your store makes per day so I can get my sales reports already here so that I know exactly how much I have to do to put you out of business. (laughs) Sure, I'll be getting that information for you right away okay can you give me a ballpark real quick just how much do you make a day you know it's uh it varies i see and how much do you pay your employees like uh, we're thinking about poaching a few just to help you go under quicker ah yeah um good luck with that we pay uh well above minimum wage oh good okay i'm gonna write that down well above minimum wage um, could, could I talk to that employee again real quick? She'll probably be more forthcoming with info. Oh, no, I don't think she will. Oh, well, maybe I'll call on the evening shift and uh, talk to someone, and they'll they'll tell me a bunch of private information that I can use for, for, for my plan. You can try it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. I'll call them up, and I'll be like, yeah, I'm from the corporate office. I just need you to give me all this information. And they'll be like, okay, corporate office, I'll give that to you. So you guys close at 11, I guess, right? Uh, 10 o'clock tonight. Oh, 10. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll call before 10 and talk to the nighttime employee. Okay. Um, what do you plan to do for a job when, uh, when you don't have one anymore? Are you, we're we're going to have an assistant manager position open here, but it'll just be uh, part-time? Um, I plan on keeping my job here. Well, yeah, but after it goes out of business, you won't be able to because you can't compete with Dollar General. Are you for real? Of course, yeah. I just, I, I thought maybe I'd be nice and ask if you wanted to, you know, a part-time job. It only, it only well, pays. No, nope. I have a full-time job at a very good pay rate, so. Yeah, but you I'm won't for long. No. You won't for long, though. It's, it's, you're counting the days till it ends, right? Nope. Dollar General's coming to town. Watch out. You know? I think I was being a little too happy about the whole thing. I don't think she was really buying it. It's all my fault. It looks like Freak Show Steven also says, Here is the Township Hall, which is right next door to the Dollar General. 
In between is the Telco Central Office Building. That's AT&T owned. Oh, there's a link to uh, all the government numbers. So have they opened up already, Stephen? I thought you said they hadn't opened yet. Thanks for calling the Township Office. Press 1 to reach the supervisor. Press 2 for the clerk. Press 3 for the treasurer. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to the supervisor first at the township board. You have reached the township supervisor. Damn it. Okay. Let me try the next one on the list. They all have the same phone number, just different extensions. Thanks for calling the township office. Press 1 to reach the supervisor. Okay. We're going to try the clerk. And they're like extension 1, extension 2, extension 3. It's so cute. It's like they're so small they can't have extension 201 and 202. Stuff like that. You live in the cutest town ever, Freak Show Steven. It's just so damn cute. Hi, you've reached Lydia at the but billing. Nobody's there, apparently. Let's try the treasurer. I am in my office for tax collection. <sighs> Alright, I guess I'm just gonna give up. Cause nobody's there. They probably all carpooled to lunch or something. Let me try one last one. Thanks for calling the township office. Press one to reach the supervisor. Press two for the clerk. Press three for the treasurer. Press 4 for the trustee. Press 5 to reach the kitchen. Press 6 <laughs> the for kitchen? the assessor. Or right. I'm going to try the zoning admin. Then I'm giving up. Thank you for calling Township Assessing. All right. I guess it's just hopeless. I'm looking on Street View right now, and it looks like the gas station I called is directly across the street. One of them is, anyway. Oh, look. Here, here's a business called Hometown Meats, which is right next door to the city buildings. And Google claims that it's currently open. I wonder if this is the place they're going to tear down to uh, build the Dollar General. Because it looks like a little shack of a place. Looks like they opened up a meat store in their backyard shed or something. Fruity Foods, this is Linda. May I help you? Hey, Linda. Are you like a manager there or an owner? Or... I'm a manager. What do you need? Oh, well, um, this is Roy. I'm going to be running the, the Dollar General that we're opening up here. And uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up. We're probably going to sell meats. We're, we're going to sell meat to try and put you guys out of business. We're going to be the first Dollar General to offer dollar meats. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay. So I just I thought I'd give you a warning, you know, uh, start start we're, maybe start closing up shop, uh, you know, while you can, while you still have money. Uh, really? Is this for sure? For real? Oh, yeah, totally. I, I just... I thought it was the right thing to do. Just let you know that uh, we're going to be selling meat for a dollar, like you know, like meat sickles and stuff. Just, just you know, different types of meats. We decided to really look at at what the town needs to have shut down, and yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna shut down that little tool shed that you're running. I'm gonna hang out. Why? <laughs> I love that she stated that she's gonna hang up before she hung up. That was great. Come on, Freak Show Steven, why didn't you tell me about that place? And why didn't you tell me about this restaurant that's just on the other side of the meat place? They have a weekend buffet and Wednesday tacos, and they look much classier than the, the meat shop. And look at that, their phone number's right on the sign. I'm going to call them up, tell them about the new Dollar General restaurant. <laughs> Welcome new- in. Oh, hey, um, is, this a, is there a manager there? Um, no, there's not. Oh, where's the manager? Um, or, the boss? Or, or the owner or anyone. Anyone in charge. Like a man. Um, I need to talk to a man. A man? Yeah. <laughs> what can us women do? <laughs> well, I don't know, because you're a woman. Durr. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> did you want to talk to the cook? Uh, is he um, Is he a man? Yeah, he is a man. Oh, is he kind of in charge? Or who are you? Like, Are you just a lowly employee? I'm the waitress. Oh, well, uh, what would be the difference between me talking to you and talking to the cook? And uh, there is no difference. Oh, is he uh is he uh angered easily? Angered? Yeah. No, like, I don't think so. D- does he blow up at the drop of a hat? No. Ah, <sighs> all right, doesn't matter then. Well, um my name <laughs> my name's <laughs> My name's Roy. I, I'm 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 one of the pe- I'm getting ready to open up that Dollar General here in town. Uh huh. And uh, I just wanted to let you know we're gonna um, we're gonna sell all of the things that you sell, but cheaper. Oh so, yeah. Who is this? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> my name is Roy. I, I'm, I'm going to be the assistant manager here at the Dollar General. And I was wondering uh-huh. if, can you give me an idea of everything you sell? Because I need to place an order with the uh, the supplier and, uh, you know, try and get try and get really good deals. We're going to open up like a little restaurant section here so people won't come to your restaurant anymore. Uh, well... I'll say this in a nice way. No, I'm kidding. What's that? No. <laughs> Who is this? Come on, say it. Just say it. <laughs> you don't want me to. Oh, no, it's okay. Really, it's fine. I, I won't take <laughs> offense. Hey, and I really liked the dollar store next door, so. Yeah, but, you know, it's it's uh, you, may, you may like it, but the more you shop here, the quicker we're going to open up that new restaurant wing. Uh-huh. And, yep. You're you're Hey, we have no worries here. Okay. Well, hey, uh when you need another <laughs> job when that restaurant goes out of business in a, another month or two, uh you know, just come on over, fill out an application. We we start at minimum wage, but there's a lot of room for advancement. <laughs> yeah. Just you so, know, so who did you want? Uh well, can I talk to the cook? He'll probably be less uh less giggly at me. Okay. Don't tell him who it is. Let let it be a surprise. We we have to get his raw reaction. Hello. Hi. Uh, this is Roy. I'm getting ready to open up that. I'm 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 running that Dollar General next door. You running a what? The Dollar General, the store. Uh huh. And I just needed to let you know we're opening up a little restaurant area here inside the store, and we're gonna put you out of business. Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah. It's to- you. You are more or less out of a job. Uh, I can easily say by next summer we will have put you out of business and the meat store next door because we're offering dollar meats, and our our lunches uh, our lunches are going to cost a dollar because we're Dollar General. Well, uh, Dollar General don't do threats like that. Oh, no, we're not. No, no, <laughs> it's not a threat. Don't take it as a threat. I'm just saying you're you're not going to be able to get a job anymore. That's all. Oh uh, yeah. But you know, like uh, once you lose your job in a couple more months, um, if you need a if you need a place to work, just let me know. We'll, we'll put you to work over here. Okay. You know, we, we you can you can uh, you know stock the shelves or be a cashier or whatever, or maybe you can be a cook in our restaurant. Do what? N- um, maybe you can be a cook in our restaurant. How much do you get paid there right now? Oh no. H- how much do you currently get paid? I'm going to beat the... Oh, pre- this, who's this? Uh, my name is Roy. I'm the assistant manager for Dollar General. Well, I won't be out of work. Well, yeah, you will, because your, your restaurant's going to close down soon. We Nobody can beat our prices. It's just a dollar. Yep. Yep, your lunch has probably cost l- like $8 or something. Yeah. Your, your restaurant's a big, a big rip-off. <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, uh, you know, minimum wage over here. If you if you if you're interested in a job, so much room for advancement. Room for what? Advancement. I know you go, you don't know the word there because you don't get advancement over there. Yeah. We have so much advancement over here. Did you want to know what we're selling? Uh, oh yes, please. Okay, so our food like a bowl of soup. One ninety nine, a hundred and ninety nine dollars. Okay. So are you gonna sell some hot soup there? Yeah, for uh, we're gonna sell it for a hundred and fifty dollars, <laughs> motherfucker. Okay, oh. ass. Oh, don't call me an ass. <laughs> but I'm really busy right now, so I better let you go. Oh no, you're not busy. You you work at that restaurant that no one ever goes to, and it's about to go out of business. But anyway, uh-huh. I, I can let you go anyway, though, just if you just don't want to talk. You don't have to be dishonest, though, and tell me you're busy. Hey, yeah, bye. I, I know that's not true. <laughs> this is awful. Why am I doing this? This is horrible. Hey, look, it's a tanning and waxing place right across the street from the restaurant. I need to tell them about our new uh, dollar tanning service. Thank you for calling. Fall and winter hours are now in effect, which will Damn be it. Monday and Tuesday, 11 to 3. I'm still closed on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm available. Oh shit! To Today's five. Wednesday. Saturday. Damn it! Appointments must be made in advance. Please call back rather than leaving a message if you would like to make an appointment. Oh, thank you. Don't tell me what to do, lady.
At the tone, please record your message. No, she's right. I'm not going to leave a message. I really wanted to ask her if she would hand out flyers for our new tanning service here at Dollar General. Thanks for calling the township office. Press 1 to reach the super... Let's try these people one more time at the township office. Let them know I'm opening up my own township for a dollar. Township clerk's office, Lydia speaking. Oh, hey, Lydia. This is Roy from over at the Dollar General. Yes, hi, Roy. Hi. And I, I noticed someone from your office, they uh, they went over to the gas station and, and bought some milk. And um, could you just let yes. them know that they're really dumb because our milk is a lot cheaper than the gas station? <laughs> Oh, my Lord. Uh, I don't believe you have milk there yet, do you? No, we do. We have, a, like, a cooler section now, because we want to compete with those gas station motherfuckers. Yes, but you're, but you're not opened. <laughs> right, but when when we do open, our, our, can we count on on you, at least, to, to buy milk and bread and stuff here? Me? Personally, um, there will be times when, yes, I will definitely be in the store. Awesome. Uh, not so much for milk because I don't drink milk. Ah, you bitch. Or for, or for that kind of bread because I don't eat that kind of bread. Oh, so you're racist. <laughs> but birthday cards, yes, definitely. So what can I help you with? Oh, no, that's all I needed. Just uh, if you could let everyone there in the office know that uh, we need to band together as a town and shut down the, those gas station people. Do we really? Yeah, that'd be nice because well, that would help I our like sales. It. I no, I kind of like the gas station people. But we're, we're friendlier me. here. We're friendlier than those people. You're they're friendlier. they're they're just they're yeah they they just glare at us all the time. Probably because well, we, <laughs> we we come in and tell them how much better we are than them. <laughs> well, you know, there's nothing wrong with you putting up a sign and just declaring yourselves as being so much better as far as you know, better milk, better bread. Yeah, uh, that's a good I'm idea. Sure. Actually, I'm sure. Can, can I put up a sign um, out front that says uh, our milk is so much better than than those gas station motherfuckers? Is it illegal to curse well, on a sign? I don't know, but I'll tell you what. I'll give you the list of ordinances. Okay. And as long as it's allowed in the ordinances, I guess you can do it. Can you bring it over real quick? We're just next door. Come on. I don't think I can. Shit. Okay. I would love to, but unfortunately, I'm chained in here. I they bet. Don't let me out. I see. Okay. But it was nice. <laughs> nice of you to call. Yeah, can I put a sign over at the uh, Sandy's Food Center and, and just write, like, you know, our milk is crap, it's garbage? Well, you're going to have to ask Sandy about that now, aren't you? Uh, well, I'll, I'll put it out on that little uh, strip of grass out there by the road. I don't think they own that part, do they? Mm, I don't think so. I'm just going to put up uh, a big sign that says, do. I'm going to put up a big sign that says closed in front of Sandy's. Okay. You know, I can track who's calling. I've got your phone number up on my phone. Oh, I already you told you who's calling. It, my name's Roy. I'm the assistant manager here over at the Dollar General. Yeah, I doubt it very highly. Why do you doubt it? Uh, <laughs> uh, I have an idea that uh, you're pulling my chain, and I personally don't appreciate it. That's crazy but talk. Hey, if this, the chain that you're tied to, you mean? You want, if this is the way you want to waste an afternoon... Be my guest. Oh, thanks. I'll even put you on speaker so everybody else can hear you. Oh no, I'd rather How's them. That? I'd rather you just tell them about it and they'll think you're crazy. But I'm gonna go now. Okay, bye. Yeah, I've got you. Have a nice I've day. Got speaker. All right. Well, have a Thank nice. You, have Roy. a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye, Roy. Th- thanks for uh, telling me about those ordinances and stuff. Not a problem. All right. Goodbye, ma'am. Toodles. Are you ready to be off? Damn it, I just shut off my mic. I was hoping she would talk in the background or other people would talk. I think I've done all I can with this one, so thank you, Freak Show Steven. That was a lot of fun. Hey, Roy, this is Nemt from the AutoZone Homeowners Association, and you know, as my old saying goes, ring it, don't sing it. You have no integrity about what you're talking about. You're claiming you have pizzas on the grill right there in front of you, but excuse me, pizzas do not cook on a grill. So you could take a running jump and go back to your minimum wage shade. <laughs> anyway, you called a guy a few weeks ago for Ding Timber and told him you scanned him with an MRI machine, and he totally ran with it. Seemed like he believed it 100%, and that was easily the funniest car game call ever. Uh, I just wanted to give you some kudos for that. Thanks, Nymphed. Glad you like that one. I really need to get all those car calls up on the YouTube page. 
one of these years. That was some good stuff this year. Hey, Roy, what's going on, bud? This is Miguel in Missouri. Ain't By your the bud, way, pal? I've lost a total of like between yesterday and today, like a total of eight hours. Uh, looking at your websites and reviewing oh, content oh, more. You're gonna blame me now. And um, I blame it on the internet. Oh. I just blame this on the okay. internet that I've okay. lost all this work time productivity i should be working but i'm not i'm listening but anyway good stuff dude man i tell you what and by the way i grew up in st louis myself and so it's kind of interesting that uh that you know that uh you're sort of all based out of that area although you're on the other side of the river but anyway yeah, or i was anyway, dude good job and good job. i don't think you realize that i live in oregon yet but i used to live across the river the skippy dippy stuff i just read that chapter in the book I commend you for not using the real names of the DJs. Good times. Uh, well, that guy, the DJ, the, he's like all sue happy. He'd probably sue me if I use his real name. I don't need that. I don't need the trouble. Real name of the branding show and just calling a skippy dippy. I mean, you got class, dude. You got excellent oh. class, and you've t- and you've learned a lot, obviously, in these last twenty years and whatnot. I thought I was the hot shit in the nineties with my minor pranks and my little foam <laughs> shit. But I was nothing compared to you, man. Aww. Good job, man. Keep Thanks. up the good work. Talk to you later. Bye. I don't know if I mentioned it in the book, but I actually stole Skippy and Dippy from that DJ guy. Like, that was their thing. Whenever uh, he would do a prank call, he would introduce himself as someone from the Skippy and Dippy show. Sometimes. So you're totally wrong. I don't have any integrity at all. I stole his joke, and I only didn't use his name so I wouldn't get sued. That's all. Hey, fellow phone losers. I did a neat little prank I want to share with you guys. I went to a Verizon store and realized that they had SIM cards in all the phones that could send and receive calls. So I set up a Google Voice account, and I set up the forwarding number to every single phone in the Verizon store. So whenever I call my Google Voice number, it rings every phone in the store. Nice. Just a neat little prank I thought I'd share with you guys. (laughs) You can try it at your local Verizon store. That is a good one. I like that one. I'm going to have to try that out. I've played around with those display phones before, and I've caused a few problems with display phones. But I never thought of that one, so thanks for the idea. Hopefully some of the listeners try it. That seems like some nice, harmless, legal fun. So maybe that should be this week's homework assignment for you listeners. All of you should go to your local cell phone store or your uh, Apple store, anywhere where they sell a bunch of cell phones that has service on them, and set them all up as Google Voice extensions. So when you call your phone number, all of their phones ring. You can get a free Google Voice account by going to google.com slash voice, or just do some other wacky thing with the display phones at a cell phone store. That's everyone's homework assignment for this week. Think of something wacky to do with the cell phones that are on display and tell me about it. Tell me what horrible things you do. I remember once when the iPhone first came out, I got the phone numbers of all the iPhones at the Apple store and I started calling them and trying to uh, talk to customers that picked up and tell them about amazing new features on the iPhone and I pretended to be Steve Jobs, but they were all stupid, unfunny, but they were all stupid, unfunny pranks. I spent a whole day doing that. I was going to put them in PLA radio back in the day, but they sucked. Yo, Brad. I'm calling because I am wondering who it is that does the intro that you just used, the British girl. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. That one. Um, also, she sounds kind of... I really want you to sing the entire Snowplow Show intro in that voice and send it to me or something. <laughs> that was great. Kind of hot. Also, is Mistress Morgan hot? She has a really hot voice. She sounds oh, pretty no. hot. She, she's so, ugly. Um, yeah, let ugly. me know. So I can perv Fucking ugly. people. Fucking ugly. Buy the book, bitches. Cactus. Uh, the girl in the intro, the British lady, uh, her name is Shifty Pop, and she's just some random girl I found on uh, Fiverr.com. You know, that site where you can uh, get people to do drops for you and sing songs and stuff like that. I've used them all the time for various PLA things. It looks like she has a website, ShiftyPopMusician.com. If you want to hear her stuff here, I'll, I'm, I'm going to do something. I'm going to here. First of all, let me play the, the intro song that he's talking about. So you know what I'm talking about. You're listening to the Snowplow Show here on Frank Coleman. We'll c- I really need to, to have her do a new one. Get rid of that stupid prank call nation thing. But I found her SoundCloud page. I kind of want to hear what she sounds like. So here, let's let's it's just free. do a few do- samples of her music. Yeah. I want to hear some jingles. Goodbye, see you later. Quit my job and cut a fiber into my hobby, into my life. I think that 
I feel like I'm listening to a children's record. Oh, speaking of that, Disney songs covered by Shifty Pop. Here we go. Now let me let me go ahead. Under the sea. Under the sea. Wait, here we go. Here's some uh, Fiverr jobs that she did. She did a landscaping jingle. Alright, what else is in here? I want to pick the most uh, hilarious sounding one. I thought it was going to be the landscaping thing, but that was kind of boring. Here, how about this one? one? Two, three, four. Shifty pop, I'm bringing pop music to life. The okay, what the hell am I doing? Let me go back to the voicemails. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I playing Shifty Pop? I'll put a link in the show notes, though, if you want to check out her uh, Fiverr jobs that she does. I really should order another song from her, though. I wrote the lyrics, though, for that intro song that she did for us, and she just kind of put it to the tune of one of the songs that she does. I think I paid, like, 30 bucks for it. Hi, Roy. It's Cleveland. Oh, hey, Cleveland. Me and the boys are missing you down by the client. Why don't you come down? I bet. <laughs> Bye. All right. Thanks, Cleveland, for the voicemail. Let's play just a couple more, and then we'll get back to the show. Oh, Roy, Ruprecht the monkey boy here. Oh, my God. Hi. I'm giving you a phone call right now during... Really? Uh, that's great. Pretty much the eye of Hurricane Matthew. Uh, yep. Uh, this is from three weeks ago, so he might be dead by now. But enough about the storm. I did a uh, song for you. I le- oh my emailed God. to your uh, address. Oh, shit. And I uh, haven't heard anything else back. Uh, I don't know what song that is. I have to go through the application and be able to play it because it didn't have a way where I could strike the file. But I think if you go to the site, it will a quick download so um, check it out I, yeah yeah i need and, to catch uh, up on my suck a cactus yeah you too i'm pretty much always behind on the emails you guys by at least a couple months so you just have to be patient with the emails for now until i figure out something better to do like canceling my email account hey roy it's george the fedex guy hey i hope you weren't being serious about self-driving cars and drones delivering packages from now on because if that oh, happens, no, I'll yeah. be out of a job. It's totally just a joke. That's never going to happen. Come on, what is this, the future? And if I'm out of a job, I'll have to start selling heroin. Yeah, you don't if want I that. If I start selling heroin, I'll get arrested. But on the way to the jail, the police car will swerve to avoid a cat that was crossing the road, and it'll hit an old lady on the sidewalk who was carrying a mirror. It seems likely. The mirror will fly up into the air and reflect the sun into the eyes of a pilot of the airplane that was flying overhead. The plane will crash, and on that plane was one of your listeners. Shit. So I hope that doesn't no. happen, Roy. Yeah, me hey, too. Hey, bye. Unless it's Corbin guy, then it would be hilarious. Hey. Oh, hey. Good job. Speak I'm of the devil. Shit, buddy. Uh, hopefully this telephone works. Uh, yeah, that's all right. Hey, uh, hey, yeah, and hello to everyone else out there in computer land that I've not been in contact with lately. Ooh, I found a penny. And, uh, yeah, how about how about seven phone calls a week? How does that sound? Huh? That's great. Seven I can't a wait. One a day. That's probably why I have 80 voicemails here that I haven't played yet. It's probably all Corbin guy. Uh, you want those messages. You know you do. Yep. All right. You know me. Oh, and here's one more voicemail from him. I guess I'll play it. It was from three hours after that one. Hey, scratch that last idea. It was lame. You oh. are lame. Okay, all right. The listeners are lame. Everybody's lame. It's lame, true. lame, lame, okay. lame, 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 lame. Bye, Corbin guy. We're all lame. I'll Thanks for you. calling in. I don't know about you. I think about you. I think about you a lot. Oh, that's, I think, that's great. Damn, he could be doing more shows to entertain me. Yeah, Thank you. I could. Or maybe you should just be a supporter of the show, Corbin guy. You'd hear all the extra shows I've been doing lately. Ever think of that? Okay, that's enough for the voicemails. We're going to do a few more pranks before we get out of here. And it looks like I'm going to use yet another idea from Freak Show Steven. It's just a coincidence, I swear. I've tried to call a bunch of other things today and nothing's working out. So this is a list of homeowners that Freak Show Steven sent me. And it looks like I did part of the list in the past at some point. My note on here says I got maybe a third of the way down so that if I call more to start from the bottom and go backwards. And I'm not going to call the whole list or anything. I'm just going to call a few of these and see what happens. So, I don't know. Let's just start calling and see what happens. Hello? Hello, Sally? Yes? Hey, it's uh, it's Roy. I live down the... Or, I mean, around the corner. I'm over on Crow Court. I'm your neighbor. Yes, I'm okay. Your, I'm your neighbor, and uh, I've been getting your mail. 
You have. Uh, yeah, so much mail here, like just for, for weeks now. And I just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> Are you joking? Oh, no, you no, mean- I, w- I wouldn't joke about something like this. I, I thought you did it on purpose because maybe you heard about that, you know, my, my, my thing that I do, my, my, we- my weird uh, fetish thing. But I, I absolutely love I, don't- I, I, I love eating paper. And I've been eating your mail. In fact, like this letter, it looks like a handwritten letter. I'm going to... Oh, this is delicious. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Sally. Hello? Are, are you there? Oh, oh, that was delicious. Are you, are you there, ma'am? All right, that was time. All right, that was kind of dumb. And I just ate a random piece of paper on my desk. Looks like this one was a receipt for something I paid. The number you have reached has been... Hello, it's Bob. Hey, Bob, it's uh, Roy from down the street. I'm your neighbor. Okay. And uh, I just needed to let you know I've been getting your mail lately. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, lots of mail over the past few weeks. And so are you throwing it back in the mail, or what are you doing with it? Oh, I've been eating it. Like, I've got letters right here, and just, like, you know, like... So delicious. I love eating paper. It's been a weird thing that I've done ever since I'm a little kid. Just right. love eating paper. So thank you, Bob, for all this free paper. Okay. So can I stop over and get it or what 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 are you uh Well I'm um, getting other people's mail too. I think it must be the mailman not putting yeah, stuff in the right place. Fucking I've, mailman. I've been throwing drunk. it back in I've been throwing it back into my mailbox. Oh no, I don't do that. I just eat it because for me it's just free paper. And um I don't know, these handwritten letters you get, I don't know what kind of ink they're using, but holy crap, I'm pretty sure I get high every time I eat those. Okay. It's, it's awesome. I, I hope, uh, I, I can't even remember what her name is, because as soon as I see those, those go right in my mouth. I just eat the crap out of those. Uh, do, do you know oh. someone that she uses kind of like a, a, a purplish ink? So what reason are you calling me? I'm not sure. Oh, well, I just thought you might want to tell the postman, because at, at this point, I'm starting to feel bad about it. But um, I just... Okay, what was thought, your name again? My name is Roy. Roy what? Yeah, Roy. No, who? I'm a who. I'm a person. I know. Roy who? Yeah. Yep, I'm over on, Red, on, on Redstone. Okay. Yep, that's me. I'm, I'm not sure why you're acting this way. It's kind of strange. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to be strange or anything. I just, you know, some people like to eat paper. And uh, I like paper, and I just, I don't know, I just thought I'd let you know so you could unforward your mail or whatever your, why it's, I don't know why it's, it's getting there. not forwarded. I'm getting other people's mail, too, so it must be the postman. I'll call the post office. Yeah, yeah, tell him to I really kinda, deal with that drunk postman guy. And are you drunk right now? Or? Oh, no, no, I don't drink, sir. I'm a Christian. Okay. Well, Christians drink, but I don't drink either. But oh no, no Christians so don't you drink. No you're you're wrong. Christians do not drink. Oh, they don't. Okay, so yeah, do Catholics uh, drink? Uh, no, I don't think so. You're, you're yeah. You just don't know anything about religion, apparently. But <laughs> yeah, I just I just thought I'd let you know about this whole male problem, and I've been eating it. Okay, thank you much. You're welcome. What you doing tonight? You wanna wanna come over and hang out? No thanks. Bye now. W- what are you doing though? Didn't even answer my question. Hello. Hey, uh, Rick. Yeah, this is Rick. Hey, it's uh, Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes, hi. And uh, I just needed to, um, they wanted me to give you a call and just ask you to cut it out. Okay. If, if you could, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Just please, cut, please. Cut out what? Um, you know, just just all the stuff. They, they, they say, um, you'd know what I'm talking about and... The association cut yeah. it out. Yeah, no, the homeowners association. I was just saying, you know, if they, they want me to just uh, ask you to cut it out. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I have no idea. Oh, um, well, uh, let's see here. It says, it says, uh, Rick has been being a motherfucker, and um, like in the homeowners association rules, there's a, there's a bylaw thing. I said we have a strict policy against being a motherfucker. So uh-huh. that's definitely not I don't a, know if this uh, is a true call or a joke. 
Why would it we are be- homeowner. We're on and oh, yeah. I don't know who I'm pissing off. Oh no, you haven't pissed off anyone. They just um they asked me to call and ask if you could stop being a motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> I'll give it my best, okay? You can report back. Okay, yeah, just to, if you could just cut that out please and that you know they 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 don't want to have to, you know, give you another fine or anything. <laughs> I never got one fine to begin with. Well, you know, you don't want to get your first. I don't need any more. Here. You who what? do you think you're talking to? Oh, who the fuck is this? What was that? It, it, who, what, no, I mean, who were you trying to reach? Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to reach Rick and Joan. Okay, so that's us. Oh, okay, great, so yeah. What, 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 what's wrong? So? Oh, um, well, no, we just had a few reports, and um, I was just letting Rick know that uh, he's not allowed to be a motherfucker. It's against the homeowners' associ- association rules. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, yeah, goodbye. Yeah, against the, <laughs> gotta follow the rules, just like Rappy says. Well, at least I made Joan happy. That poor guy, he thought he was being singled out or something. It's like, who did I piss hello? off? Hello? Oh, hello, Lynn? Yeah. Hey, Lynn, it's uh, Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And, um, I just needed to let you know that uh, starting tonight at about 3 in the morning... We're gonna be um, uh, we're gonna be pointing microwave beams at your house from space. From our ho- at our house. Yes, from a satellite in space. It's gonna be uh, canvassing oh. your entire yard and your house in microwave beams. Oh, okay. And um, and and why is that? It's just a, an, an experiment we're doing here. Uh, it's kind of hush hush. We're not allowed to talk about it, but apparently I'm legally obligated to let you know we're going to be beaming microwaves at your house. Okay, are you doing other ones around the lake, too? Oh, oh no, just you. Only yours. And and only hmm. only the, the front and the left side of your house, mostly. So maybe you could sleep in a closet or something. Oh, yeah, and, and I'm not allowed to know why. Well, it's it's just this agreement we have with with the uh, Chinese government. It's just an experiment we're doing with microwave beams, and there, there's a, sa- a Chinese satellite uh, aimed at your house right now. It's all ready to go. Oh, great! And, Why uh, didn't they pick another house? <laughs> oh no, no, it's got it's got to be your house. Your house is the <laughs> yeah, right. Perfect one. Uh, okay. So, um, I know my husband gets up during the night, so oh, he'll probably see it then. Oh, Willie. Yep. Everything's going to have kind of a, a greenish tint, kind of like a glow to it. Okay. But but it's safe. You don't have anything to worry about. It's completely safe. They've done this over seven seven times now. Oh, okay. Yep, everything. I guess. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry your pretty little head. <laughs> All righty. All right. Well, um, say hi to your husband for me. I'll do that. G- give him Alrighty. hugs and kisses bye. and stuff. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Hello. Hello, Jan. Yeah. Hi. Hey, uh, it's Roy from. Yeah. And um, I just uh, needed to let you know. I guess someone here at the office, at the homeowners association office, they they were trying okay. to they were trying to get in your house, and their master key is not working. Did, did you have they you? Were cha- trying- I'm sorry. What? They, they were trying to get into the property owners association. Oh or? no, they were trying to get in your house because they wanted to just come in and look around. But their master key wasn't working. Do you know if you've changed your locks lately? Why would they be coming to my house to look around? Oh, they they just wanted to look around, make sure everything's on the up and up. You know, like you're not breaking any rules or whatever. I know. I'm sorry. Who is this? My name is Roy from the Lake Redstone Homeowners Association. And what's your last name, Roy? Gerbel. How do you spell it? I-T. Okay. How do you how do you spell your last name? Oh, I thought you wanted to know how to spell it. No. How do I spell your name? G-E-R-B-I-L. Roy, you said? Yep. Yep. Why would they be coming to my house? Oh, they just want to. They just want to come in and look around and stuff when you're not home, just to make sure everything's on the up and up. No, I didn't ask anybody to do that. Oh no, they don't ask. They they've been doing this for years. They do this to all the houses in the neighborhood. They just go in, 
look around and rifle through things and just make sure there's no rules being broken. No. Ma- if somebody needs to come and look in our house, then they can call and make an appointment to do so, but we have no need for that. Oh, well, yeah, well, it's not that you need it. It's just that we need to come in and look around and make sure that uh, everything's okay. Make sure. Well, let me have you talk to my husband. Okay, I guess. Whatever. Hello. Hi, uh, Ken. Yes. Hey, uh, did she? Who is this? Uh, this is Roy from the Homeowners Association. You don't have to bark at me. Jeez. Um, well, wait a minute. Our Homeowners Association, Lake Redstone? Yes. Okay. Yeah, uh, we were just trying to come in your house, and the master key doesn't seem to work anymore. Did you change your locks lately? You mean in the Property Owners Association building? No, your house. Why would you come to my house? To make sure you're not breaking any rules. We, we just have a checklist we have to go over and make sure everything's okay in there. Uh, what rules for what? Oh, you know, just the Homeowners Association rules. You ever read the rule book? Yeah. Is that why you're keeping your house locked up so we can't get in anymore? What is your name? Uh, my name is... Ro- oh, my God. I've already been through this with your wife. and I spelled it for oh, her and everything. Know. Just ask her. Right. Well, you can't come into my house. Oh, well, usually we can. We can't right now because I guess you changed the locks or something. We're going to have to get a new key from you we got to get one that works like a master key, because we need to just have one key that opens every house in the neighborhood. I didn't get your last name. Oh, your wife did. She had me spell it and everything. Just look on that piece of paper she's holding. What was it? G-E-R-B-I-L-E-Gerbel? No, it's, it's Gerbel. It's French. Tell her to learn some culture and stuff. Okay. What number is he calling from? Okay, and what is your phone number? Uh, it's on your caller ID. No, it isn't. I don't have caller ID. What the hell? It's 2016. You should have caller ID. In, yeah. In, in fact, that's against the Homeowners Association rules. Every house must have a caller ID box. Uh-huh. It's in the rules. Did Have you ever read the rules? You can't just rely on common sense. This is the Homeowners Association. Uh-huh. So, yeah, we're just going to... We're gonna. Ha- you're gonna have to come into the office ASAP and uh, let us make a new key for you. Okay. What office is that? The homeowners association office. Der. Okay. There, there is no homeowners association. Oh, you just office. don't know where it is. Just look in your homeowners association guide, and it, their address is in there. You'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is this a put on? No, of course not. And can you tell her to in the background to to shut the fuck up because we're men are talking here and she keeps interrupting. Okay. Please. Uh-huh. I noticed you're not doing it yet. No, I'm not doing anything. Why not? You, you have to obey me. I'm with the Homeowners Association. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. Don't you wish you had caller ID so you had my number? Your wife seems really concerned about my phone number for some reason. Well, I wish you'd tell me what it was. Just look on your caller ID box. I don't have it. Oh. Give me your phone number. Um, no, just I don't know offhand. Come on. Where do you live? What's your address? Oh, I don't have to tell you. No, you don't. I don't have to tell you anything either. What kind of craziness is this? I didn't ask you to tell me anything. I just said you need to, you know, come in and get a new key made. Right. I know I'm right. Mm. Of course I'm right. I'm the homeowners association. Okay, well, have a nice day. We'll, we'll see you soon. Just bring that key in ASAP. Mm-hmm. Tell me where to bring it. I have no idea where to bring oh, it. Just look in your book. You'll see the address. I don't have a book. There is no book. Oh, of course there is. It has all the rules in it. No, it doesn't. See, that's why you don't know about the whole key thing. Like, you don't know that you're not supposed to change your, your key like that. Okay. It's against the rules. Yeah. Okay. Big rule breaker. Yep. Alrighty. Okay, well, have a nice day. Yep, you too. Bye. Goodbye. Nobody believes me today, and it's all Brown Magic's fault, because he's the one that sent me the idea for this one. Apparently years ago, I found it in an old list of ideas for the Homeowners Association. Hello? 
Hi, uh, Demi? Yeah. Hey, it's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Yes. And um, I just needed to let you know, I guess someone here in the office was trying to come in your house the other day, and they said their master key doesn't work, like you've changed your, your locks or something. Nobody tried to come in our house at all. Uh-huh. You Here at the Homeowners Association, we did. We were just going to check and make sure you weren't breaking rules. What? It's it's just a it's it's a thing we do at least once a year. We just come in your house and rifle around everything and make sure no rules are being broken for the homeowners. What are you talking about? Um, the the you know we we, we tried to come in your house just a few days ago and the door what was. What day? I don't I don't know. It wasn't me. It was one of the maintenance people. And? Um, they couldn't get in because I guess you changed your lock. We have never changed our locks. Oh, okay. Well, that's weird. Uh, um, and why would you try to come in our house? Well, it wasn't me. It was one of the maintenance people here with the why homeowners. Why would anybody try to come in our house? Uh, they just wanted to come in and make sure you weren't breaking any rules. What do you mean breaking rules? What well, rules would we break? Well, you know, homeowners association rules or, or laws. Make sure that you're not running a meth lab or anything. You know, just standard basic stuff like that. No, this is not standard. It is that basic. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Anyway, we just need um, you to give us your key one of these days. Just come by the no. office and drop off your no. key and everything will be fine. No. Why not? Why would you let us come in our house? If anyone would come with you, it would have to be with a police officer. Oh, no, no. We don't involve the police. This is just between the homeowners association and the homeowners. We're just making sure... I'm sorry. This is not right at all. We're just making sure everything's on the up and up. What authority do you have? Uh, we're, we're the homeowners association. We, we own everything no, around here. No, this is not right. Well, why? What, what, is your, what is your phone number? Uh, it's um, it's on your caller ID. And this is Paul. No, I'm not Paul. I'm Roy. I never said my name was Paul. Well, Paul came up on our caller ID. Then what'd you ask for my number for? Because you, it doesn't stay up there. Oh, well, then All how, we saw is Paul. How'd you see it? If it doesn't stay up. It comes up, your number is there, and I do not pay any attention to it. And we, we saw it was a 985 number, so I answered. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, we just need to come, in, come, did, come in your house. You're not a 985 number. Well, it's close enough. What, I mean, I'm calling from my no. cell phone. What is your 985 number? I don't know. That's probably Paul's cell phone. A 985 is not a cell phone. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Any number can be a cell phone. A 985 is a area telephone number. Oh, I guess you've never heard of phone number porting then. That's been around for like 20 years or something. I, I'm going to report this call. And what what is your last name, well, please? I, I'm going to report you for not knowing how phone numbers work. Because you can have what is any your last number. Name? I can have any area code I want, any phone number what, I want. What is your last name? Gerbel. Pardon? No, Gerbel. What is your last name? It's Gerbel, I keep telling you. Spell it. No, you can't make me. I'm reporting this phone call. To who? Who, who are you reporting it to? The Homeowners Association. Well, that's who I am. You, you, it's no, like, you're not. If you call back, you're just going to talk to me, and you're going to report me to myself. No, I, no, I'm not. I'm going to contact someone about this. I bet you will. And you think that we should give you a copy of our house key. It's it's the rules. So that you could enter whenever you want to. We just want to rifle around in your drawers and stuff and make sure that you're not breaking rules. It's like a standard procedure. That is not standard procedure. Oh, you just don't know how things work around here. Well, I better find out. This Goodbye. Is, this is just how it goes, ma'am.
<sighs> All right, whatever. You know what, you guys? I've got to quit the show because, as usual, I'm running late, and if I don't get started now, I'm just never going to get this put up. I know that's always my excuse, but I think the show is long enough at this point, so bye, everyone. I'm leaving. Got shit to do. And I still have a lot of numbers to call on this homeowners association list, so I'm going to have to save this and do the rest of them some other time. But thanks again, Freak Show Steven, for this list and for the other list from earlier in the show. Holy crap, I should have just made you the sponsor. But no, it had to be Meow's Wow being the sponsor today. It's all her fault. So I guess thank you, Meow's Wow, for sponsoring the show today. And thank you, everyone else, for supporting the show and listening and all of that good stuff. You guys are the best. And you know what? I like that Sensei Doug song by 13 Code 13. I feel like I have to do the thing when I say his name for some reason. But we're going to play that again. We're going to play that for the outro of the show. Because you totally haven't heard that song enough today. So here it is. This is Sensei Doug by 13 Code 13.